Hi everybody, welcome to our next episode of the MyJoga Insight series and uh, this time we would like to discuss a very very important topic the power generation which is the core maybe the most important aspect of uh, Choga Tonglong before we start I have to say that this is a very deep uh, topic it's very vast since Choga is focusing very much on this aspect we have lots of exercises to do but today we cannot cover everything uh, we will showcase a few things, what is this about, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So for this, I uh, asked Sifu Balint and one of our students from Spain, Angel, to help us to do this short video for you. So, let's start. So in Choga Tonglong, we develop different power qualities, and we're going to demonstrate this one today. Uh, we put the hands together on a contact, and uh, there are physical and internal uh, power qualities in Choga. So we're going to try these things and make the difference, see the difference between them. So we just put the hands together. And first we start with the physical by tensing the muscle up, only using the power of the arm, shoulders and muscle power. And we start to grind. So in here, we use muscle power, which is not bad. It's going to give you workout for your shoulders and your forearms too. And if you change the quality by putting the body together, just and it changes, it's all relaxed. The power is going through, and you push and just it looks the same from the outside but from the in inside it might be different feeling can you tell me the difference between the two well definitely the difference is deep inside the body because you are putting all your efforts to use your muscles to move but you cannot so you need to uh, connect yourself and take the power from another source because if not you are not able to move. Okay, let's put, put together and continue. And you might think, okay, this is happening only in this shape or only in this line. But actually you can change it anyhow, you can change to, to any body part because the connected body goes and the, the power goes to any point of your body. You can put it in your fingers too. You feel the power has changed by? No. It's the same, okay. You can change the stance so you don't need to use the rear leg to put, put it behind or you can even stand on one leg. You can change it to any awkward position or even can put the power back. Just put, use all your force. Use all your force against. Lean the whole body. And you can also put it back. And it's done without any tension. Just with the relaxation. Into any angle. You can try to push together the arms. So it's not a strict line. The power could go to any to any direction, and you can stand in any way. Okay. So, what is the practical side from from fighting? Is that that you have this skill in your body in general? You don't have to put a certain position or you don't have to prepare for it because normally your body is relaxed or in this in this state where you just walking on the street or you get attacked suddenly you don't have the time to put the standby and and do something to prepare you just use everything by instinct by reaction and you have this 
power chain in the body constantly. So this is uh, why you can use it, use this kind of power in any frame. The system is defined by this power. It doesn't matter what sort of form you are doing or what sort of technique you are doing, when you put this content into it and then it becomes Choga system, which we teach in this course. You also might say, okay, he cannot push because of the of the body size, but it has nothing to do with it because you keep the power out of the body. This is this is one, and also we are not bracing, we are not leaning the body. So we, if you put it together, and you you push again, you you can use your whole body weight, use the whole body weight, and then let me go, and then you stay there. It doesn't mean that you lean against and if someone is heavier and then can resist the other. And the other, what I have mentioned, is that you're not using the force close to your body. You can, but actually it's, it's out here. So if you can see, it's already out there and you can use it to, to any direction, anywhere. You can do whatever you want. All the exercises in Choga Tonglong is aiming to build up this power connectivity. So the bad news is there's no not only one exercise that you can learn and then you have it. So we build up a whole course around it where you can learn this kind of skill. So you can start with smaller courses where you get the feeling for it, but if you really want to learn it and then you need to join the whole course. Oh, 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 oh,